when people see those clips and they hear you say those them. things... Agreed. Well, I don't think that... <laughs> it's not hard to misunderstand it. It is. You might say that it's consensual. Other people would say, whether it's consensual or not, that's a very ugly way to talk about women. Completely. Now let's Hitting watch... them with machetes. No, watch the whole video. It's a girl coming at me with a machete and me saying, here, slap the machete out of her hand. She's attacking me. So you don't understand. This is the exact point. I do the understand. Con... No, people don't watch them in full. And this is actually what's interesting. And please don't interrupt me on this point. Social media has changed in modern times. YouTube five years ago was five, six, seven, eight minute long videos. Mm. Now we have TikTok, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, YouTube shorts, Instagram stories. Now anything you produce that's long form is cut down into very, very short form. They're interested in clicks, they're interested in engagement. Of they find but the you most from all they that. find the most controversial clips they can Andrew, on purpose. You benefited from all that. Everybody benefits from social media views. Your, as do you. Your was it the hustler? What is it? I called? had an online school. Called Hustlers University. Right. And their whole job was to promote your clips, make you rich and famous. So you've benefited from this system, the one you now profess to hate. You've benefited from I all never that. said I hated you've it. You've clickbaited it like the best of them. I never said I hated it. I'm saying what happened. I don't hate it. I don't hate social media. I think it's a very powerful force. I don't hate the social media. I'm saying the that. The point is, I think you can talk... Look, you can talk to girlfriends of yours, um, maybe a secret wife, I don't know. It's entirely up or to two. You. Or two. Or two. Maybe you've got ten wives. That's your business. I don't care, right? My only thing is, I don't care what you do in private. If it's consensual between you and another woman, you can do what you like, right? It's your life. I believe in freedom and, and liberty. It's when you say it in public, it's the influence that this kind of thing has on young men. Agree. Right? And I speak with someone with three sons, right? It's who are, by the way, they're intrigued by you. They're fascinated, right? You're a, you're a big thing in that world of TikTok and so on. So they all are aware of you and what you say. So they're all looking. And when they see things like the machete thing, I get the context because I'm a 57-year-old guy who's been around the block a bit, and I can get what you've said, and you're responding to a particular scenario yep. which you'd created where but, a woman... But picked... it can be misunderstood. I understand. So my point to you is, given that you know it can be misunderstood, do you regret saying things like this on camera where it can be disseminated by less intelligent young males who think that is actually what they should be doing to women? And finally, we get to the point of the issue, which is the point I tried to make at the very beginning. 